So in the beginning, when I first start making puppy mush, I use a cup of puppy um, food, some water, could be any clean water, some goat's milk, some Gerber rice cereal, and any type of um, milk replacer powder. Um, what I first do is I'll put it in a pan this big and I put in the food and then I also put in some of this, some of the rice, some goat milk, and then I boil this water. And when it's boiling, I will pour it in the pan and then I put a foil over it. Once um, it is soft, I say a few hours, or if you're doing this the night before for the morning breakfast, I'd wait till the morning, open it up, and it's gonna have a consistency kind of like this. And so when they're very little, when they're four weeks, you need to have some type of, um, some type of like liquidy in there so what i do is i'll put it on the stove and i start cooking it and i will use this like as a little a meat grinder thingy but i'll start um making doing this so that the pieces aren't so big and that they get um smaller so the puppies can actually eat it so i'll do this for a while and you can do this whole process the night before in the morning. You can just heat it up and give it to them. That's what I usually do. I do the process the night before so that the next day it's so much easier. At night, rinse everything up, put everything together. Um, so this may need a little bit of um, goat's milk to it. Seems like it's already warmed out. I'm just, I'm just about to feed them. Um, and this is called their puppy mush. Now, when you look up puppy mush, everybody does it differently. This is my second litter of French Bulldogs and have not had a problem. Um, but when they start getting bigger, I say eight weeks, I, I start to eliminate the puppy replacer milk. I start, um, I do not put the rice cereal in there anymore, and I slowly wean away from the goat milk, and then eventually it's just going to be the puppy food and the water. Um, and the way you do that, and I do it every night, um, I, um, get a size this big it can be smaller if you just have one dog or if you have multiple make sure you have a big enough um pan and i boil water in here i fill it up boil water i add hard food to this i put in the boiling water i stir it up i throw um i cover it with some foil cover it all up and I just let it sit on my counter for a while. And the next morning, I get up and it's all puffed up. And it looks like this. And I just mix it up. Um, I'll add a little bit of goat's milk to it. Um, whatever you want to add to it. You don't have to add anything to it. it it's fine the way it is. But I actually used goat milk um, up until they were six months. Um, I put it in their food. Um... But that's pretty much it. Uh, once you get to that time frame, I cut out all this extra stuff. And it's just puppy food, goat milk, and water. And that's it. I cook it the night before so that way they eat it in the morning. And um, I feed them twice a day so I make sure to make enough for twice a day. Um, but yeah, the puppies are hungry. They're over here waiting for me. <laughs> you guys are over here waiting for me, huh? Say, Mama, where's my food? But Mama, where's my food? Because I smell it. Say, I smell it, huh? I smell it. I know I'm making your food. I know. 
So yes, um, everybody makes their food differently. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and this is just something that worked for me. Everybody has their opinions on what to use and what not to use, but this is just something that worked for me. Um, and I wanted to make a video because everybody always asks, you know, what to feed them and how to make it. And um, this is pretty much how I do it. These were the steps um, I took to do it. Um, and I showed the ingredients that I used. And if I didn't do it right here in front of you, I told you how I did it, which is very, very simple. Um, if you have any questions about it, Open it. you can um, comment and um, I can get back to you on that. But I got to go because these babies are hungry and I got to feed them. Thanks. Bye-bye.